Shinya, it's been 10 years since your original paper with Dr. Takahashi. At that time, did you ever imagine it would lead you to where you are today? Well, I had a feeling that someday uh, it would become something like this. But it has been much, much faster than I anticipated 10 years ago. There must have been a lot of highlights for you since the original IPS project began. But tell me, what's the one that you're the most proud of? Uh, it's a very difficult question. There are many uh, important moments. But uh, if I have to list just one, I would say the very first clinical trial uh, by Masao Takahashi. It was a huge step. It was uh, September 2014. Uh, that moment uh, was very, very special. Yes, because that's what it's all been for, isn't it? You have a medical background. And yes, exactly. You know, I, I was a doctor, clinician, so uh, I really do want to contribute to patients. I do want to help patients. So where do you see the future of IPS cells? So, uh, you know, there are two major medical applications of IPS cells. Uh, one is cell therapy. Uh, the other uh, is uh, drug discovery. So I hope uh, those two applications will become uh, major, uh, accessible to many patients uh, in the very near future. So a lot of your work is geared towards translational outcomes now, but can IPS cells also be used to study developmental processes? Especially human uh, IPS cells are very, very useful because, as you can imagine, it is extremely difficult to work on human embryos. But now that we can use uh, human iPS cells, which are uh, nearly indistinguishable from human embryonic stem cells, we can recapture many aspects of human development by using human iPS cells as a tool. Going back to the original experimental rationale, how important was it to understand developmental biology to choose the candidate genes and ultimately to make iPS cells? So without what I learned from early developmental biology, I could have never generated iPS cells. So Austin Smith uh, was my teacher. Well, he, 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 he is a competitor, <laughs> but he, he taught me a lot about early stage, pre-implant development of mouse. That was the essential part. So there must have been a bit of secrecy around which of those genes in your candidate list could actually do the reprogramming. Were you ever in danger of getting scooped? The last fourth factor, KDN4, is something very new to our field. So uh, nobody knew uh, about its role in prepotency uh, mm -hmm. back then. Mm -hmm. So uh, I thought as long as we kept K11-4 secret, <laughs> we are fine. But uh, before we publish, published our first paper, Hitoshi mm Niwa, -hmm. uh, he was working on KL4. Ah. He scared me. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, yeah, that would be, that would be. Uh -huh. So, a scoop protection policy, like what development offers, would be a good thing for your colleagues? Uh, it's, a, it's a huge difference. It's a huge difference. On Twitter, we launched a hashtag Ask Shinya to the community. I said, oh. I'm going to go into Sensei, uh -huh. yeah, Miyamanaka Sensei, and um, what would you like to ask him? And we got a couple of responses back. Jakob Hanna would like mm. to know, do you miss lab work? Uh, 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 I mean, the actual experiments? I think so, yeah. Uh, I do, I do. But, so last time I did my two experiments, uh, probably it was already uh, almost 10 years. <laughs> so it's like 10 year anniversary of my last, last experiment. <laughs> experiment. <laughs> Very good. Um, uh -huh. And I know I'm not, I'm not capable. Okay, here's another one. When you were first planning the project, how confident were you that it would work? 
Uh, well, in the case of iPS cells... In the case of the, the candidate 24 factors reprogrammed. Oh, uh, to, after 24 factors? Uh, so when I uh, first started this project, it was year 2000, when I got my own uh, lab for the first time. Uh, it was after uh, the cloning of the Dolly. So we knew theoretically it should work. And also we knew uh, from the work of MyOD uh, some transcription factors uh, or some related factors should work. But I had no idea how many factors mm -hmm. were required. So uh, I, I knew uh, <laughs> sometimes it should work. Yeah. In my lab or in somebody else else's lab, uh, but I just didn't know how long it would take and it would happen to me. Okay, now we're going to play a little bit of a game. I've got some photos here of some very high profile stem cell scientists, but the photos were taken from before they were famous. It's going to be your job to figure out who they are. I can tell you that they're all associated with development, and actually you know all these people pretty well, I'd say. Okay, here's the first one. Who is that? Oh my god. You work with this person. You see this person almost every month, I would say. Every month? I think so. And he's also an editor at development. Editor, editor. Uh... He's at the class. Ben, Benoit? Yes! Oh, I can now say, yes, 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 yes. It's been one. It's yes, been yes. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Oh well done. Very well done. It's tricky. I know it's tricky. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's fun. It's good. Thank you. Yes. Okay, here's the next one. Uh huh. Who is that? Ah, Janet. No. no. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Catherine. No. Yes. Okay. That's it, right? It's easy. It's easy. It's easy. It's easy. It's easy, hey? Well, yeah. see how you go with yeah, this right. one. Whose angelic face is that? You might say he looks quite naive. Mmm. Oh, it's tough. Naive, shouldn't it? Na oh, no. Oh, so. Austin? Yes! Oh. <laughs> This is Austin. That's Austin. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Very well done. I cannot tell even now. Oh, this is really? Austin. Really? You can't see that? I see it. Okay. That smile. No, it's so... <laughs> maybe, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. <sighs> Very well done. <laughs> okay. Good. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Okay.